The launch of the SpaceX CRS-4 mission to the International Space Station marks the start of a new era. The Dragon spacecraft will deliver the first 3D printer that works in space. The first time that humanity, you know, our species, has ever built tools off of planet Earth. Developed by California-based Made in Space, the 3D printer was born of a desire to explore the moon and beyond. Our goal was to actually push humanity further into space. We started with the question of why are we not there today? And we realized the big problem is you have to launch everything that you need. But what if space crews had the ability to manufacture on demand? Space has a supply chain problem. It's very difficult to get things from point A to point B. With a 3D printer or 3D printing technology, you can just get around you know, that entire paradigm and essentially email your hardware to space. But you can't just buy an off-the-shelf 3D printer and use it in space. You just have to make sure everything is you know, tightly controlled. Um, you know, in, a, in a microgravity environment, you have nothing holding things down, for instance. Um, so one of the big problems that we saw you when know, we were taking, taking these printers to zero gravity Things were just, you know, wobbling around. These printers, developed by Made in Space, were designed to not only work in zero gravity, but also withstand the forces of launch. Nine Gs, to be exact. The prototypes were tested during microgravity flights, lots of them. To start, astronauts will test the printer's capabilities, but the end goal is to print any tools needed. Imagine how helpful that would have been for the Apollo 13 crew. Size is a current constraint, but larger parts could be assembled from small ones, such as these mini CubeSats, which are used to take images of the Earth and for other research. You could literally build and assemble and launch a mission without having to have to launch a rocket. The next challenge is to print objects using materials found in space, so you don't have to launch tons of the plastic filament that 3D printers currently use. Regolith, a mix of soil, dust, and rock that covers the moon, could hold the key. Imagine you just go up to the moon and you can build your habitat, uh, build structures for other things, landing pads, walkways so things don't get dusty out of the local resources. If the printer is a success, it'll be a small step for made in space, but a potential leap for space exploration. In Mountain View, California, I'm Sumi Das, CNET.com for CBS News.